Bach Tower Gardens invites you on an exclusive tour all the way to the top of the Singing Tower Carillon. The Neo-Gothic Art Deco architectural treasure was designed by Milton Maderi and built in just two years. It was dedicated in 1929 as a gift of gratitude from Edward Bach, a Pulitzer Prize winning author, peace advocate, and the editor of Ladies Home Journal for 30 years. Samuel Yellen created the thousand pound great brass door with 30 brass repousse panels depicting the biblical story of creation from the book of Genesis. Yellen also designed the handmade wrought iron gates around the moat, the multi-level winding stairway, and lamps, all with unique zoomorphic creatures. The door opens into the Founder's Room, where colorful ceramic floor tiles by J.H. Dulles Allen depict Florida's fauna and flora. Constructed of pink and gray Georgia marble and Florida coquina, Lee Laurie sculpted all the intricate carvings in place, including the words of Bach's beloved grandmother, make you the world a bit better or more beautiful because you have lived in it. The 1928 Otis Elevator takes you all the way to the top of the 205-foot Singing Tower, where caroloners warm up in the practice studio before climbing the spiral staircase, eager to play this grand carillon with 60 bronze bells cast at the John Taylor Bell Foundry in England. The bells range in weight from 16 pounds to 24,000 pounds. I'm Lee Cobb and I play the carillon at the Church of the Ascension in Clearwater, Florida. We have a 49 bell carillon there which is compared to this, this is a 60 bell instrument. A carillon is a musical instrument consisting of at least two octaves of bells, that's about 23, 24 bells and arranged in a chromatic series so that you can play them in harmony together. And the instrument is basically designed like a very large piano, except that instead of hitting strings, you're hitting bells. And that instrument that we play with, the clavier, allows us to hit the bells very hard for a loud sound or very, very quietly, so it is very expressive. The Singing Tower is home to the largest catalog collection of carillon-related materials in the world. Housing the archives of the Guild of Caroloners in North America, it's open to visiting scholars, researchers, and composers. I'm Geert de Hollander, and I'm from Belgium. I live in Antwerp, and I play in Antwerp. I have a couple of other towers, but my main tower is Antwerp Cathedral. It's an old instrument that's uh, going back all the way to the 17th century and it's made by Hemony, and Hemony is for the bells whose Stradivarius is for the violin, so it's a really precious instrument. So besides playing the carillon, I'm also teaching, and I am a teacher in the Royal Carillon School in Mechelen, which is the oldest institute um, uh, to learn how to play the carillon. And besides that, I'm doing a lot of master classes, and especially here in the US, I'm frequently doing master classes in Yale, and at Cornell, and Cornell in New York is more is about chimes playing, but still I'm trying to um, get those kids to learn how to listen to the sound and make beautiful sound and bells. I also compose for um, the bells. I really like it, and what you see is that um, the situation as it is today, uh, if you compare this with 40 years ago, we have more composers, more arrangements, more carillons. So I think the future, the future is uh, bright. There are more than 600 carillons worldwide, with 180 in North America and four in Florida. Every carillon is different. Um, it's like riding a bike one day, and then the other day you're, you're driving a 20-ton truck. So it's, um, it's always a challenge to play on, on, on very different instruments. And it's hard to compare all of them, because they're, they're different in numbers of bells, in weights, in material, you know, the clappers, the keyboard is different, all different standards. Um, but it's, it's one big adventure, it's really nice. Well, just like any musical instrument, there are different styles uh, of ways of playing the instrument, techniques, and my style is probably, uh, well, an amalgam of many different styles. Uh, one thing I like to do is the tremolando, which is when you take two bells and you rapidly uh, play them back and forth so that you create almost a continuous sound. 
um, bringing out the uh, expressive qualities of the bells. I tend to do a lot of that. I play a lot of North American music, uh, but then also I like to play things like Scott Joplin on the Caroline and jazz, um, lots of arrangements. I like to, I really thrive on playing music that connects with people, m music that is familiar to people. You know, somebody said to me the other day, that piece was familiar. I didn't know what it was, but it was familiar. And she said everything was recognizable, even though she didn't know what it was. And you connect to people that way when you play the carillon, when you play familiar music, for instance. Playing the Bach Tower Carillon is very, very special. Um, not only are the bells magnificent, um, but you can feel the vibrations of that 60-ton instrument right inside of you. You know, the, all the bronze, it's, it's, you know, I'm, it's, I think, the best instrument of the New World. I played here a couple of years back when I was the assistant caroliner and uh, really grew to love this instrument. Of course, it's heavier than most. And, uh, and then when I returned as a guest, I felt that this was just like embracing an old friend. It, it has a weight to it. And then when you play expressively into the weight of those clappers, it literally is like you're embracing an old friend. Tours of the Singing Tower are available to you through membership to Bach Tower Gardens. Visit BachTowerGardens.org for more information.